Balkans, Bosnia descends into civil war following the breakup of Yugoslavia. Jaguars and tornado fighters are sent to southern Italy. And this time they are flying over different terrain, against a different enemy and with a different job, policing a no-fly policy ordained by the UN. After three years of broken ceasefires and ethnic cleansing of the Muslim population by the Serbs, the aircraft go into the attack. Intervention proves to be the key. This time, the peace holds. Last night, eight member states had planes participating in the operation. NATO has demonstrated an impressive unity and resolve. The same area of the world provides the task in 1999. Kosovo is part of Serbia, populated by ethnic Albanians. The Serbian government, under the leadership of Slobodan Milosevic, wants them out. Horrified by the thousands of refugees flooding across the Kosovan borders, NATO takes the initiative. RAF Harriers blast Serbian army units in Kosovo, while the Americans take out airfields, communications and power sources in Serbia. In weeks, Serbia withdraws from Kosovo. The RAF ends the century with a successful campaign. But to go on in a similar vein, it needs to be continually updated. Familiar names such as Harrier, Tornado and Jaguar will still be there in ever-improving versions. Pilots will still need to be trained to cope with the bewildering array of highly sophisticated electronics and new weaponry. But there will be at least one all-new aircraft to herald the new millennium. Eurofighter will not only have to be a jack of all trades, but will have to be the master of them all as well. It will be an air superiority and ground attack fighter. Pilots will be able to get streams of information from command and control centers and also from their own computer systems. This will give individuals a view of the battle never even dreamed of just a few years ago. But whether it will succeed in battle depends both on the quality of the pilot and the quality of the opposition. But whatever and wherever the threat may be, the RAF will continue to fly, rising above adversity, maintaining its traditions of excellence and commitment to be the best of the best in the 21st century.